Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Maria and this is Intuitive Tuesdays with Elizabeth Maria. I am so happy to be here today. Um, yeah, I, was, I said seven and it's 7.06. Uh, welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna light some, uh, some sage to clear the energy. You know, if you're wherever you're watching, if you are just listening or whatever, you know, just let's just take a couple minutes to ah, oh, just to thank, thank Source Energy, thank you God, whatever it is that you want to call it, she, he, we, us, all of it. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Ah, oh, I ask to clear any energy that is low vibe that will impede my message. I ask oh, that the energy stay open and inviting, expansive. And I thank you all for being here. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Jackie. Awesome. Um, yeah, so just kind of clearing some energy out. And, um, you know, for those of you that, you know, don't know too much about me, I've been getting into um, sound healing like the last couple years. Right now we're listening to, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, hey, Jackie, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear it right now, but um, I, in my intuitive guidance, I use sound healing as one of the spiritual, spiritual modalities. And honestly, it's I wouldn't even say it's like spiritual. It's, uh, you know, it's science, man. I mean, we're like protons, neutrons. And so it makes a hundred percent sense that, you know, that energy, I mean, we're energy, right? We're energy. And so the sounds flow through us, you know, the same way that anything else does. I mean, we're constantly in movement and I've been having some tech, some tech problems. So I, I'm not going to worry about the music if you guys can't hear it then you know so be it anyways so i wanted to start now my daughter gave this to me for christmas a couple years ago and you know i've played around with it a little bit but i just think it's a wonderful way to kind of clear the energy and get you know to be in the present moment to clear any you know kind of stuck debris because i mean my god being a part of this crazy freaking world jesus christ i am constantly cleaning my chakras out okay let's go i go to all the points east west south north all the energy keep it Spread it out, expansive, and love and light and healing. <sighs> Thank you. It always just makes me feel so good. And you know what? That's what it's all about, right? That is what it's all about. So... Tonight, my episode, what is it? I, now I, I can't even remember what I named it. Oh, is this the right path, right? And so, um, you know, as I like use that little meme, you know, and it shows Buddha, it shows who else was on there, Buddha, Jesus, and I think Mohammed or whatever, um, you know, they're all coming together. They have risen above this 3D. I mean, basically, you know, I mean, I know that like matrix is a buzzword, but you know, the system that we are living in, you know, it was created way before any of us were born, right? We woke up or were born into this reality with its certain mores, its certain cultural ideals, right? And, you know, all of that is, I mean, you know, there's some real beauty in it, but it, it it's a, it's a puzzle, a system that we can also rise above, right? And so if we begin to rise above and we are able to find a neutral standpoint, a, I like to consider it, um, you know, like an eagle eye, right? So we, we get this neutral standpoint and then we begin to look at our system. We get, we begin to look at, you know, the different ways that we group 
people together. We group ideas together, you know, and all of it is made up, guys. It's just one person or one group's idea of how things should be, right? Well, I'll tell you, the way that this lady acts, right, is that I'm all about rising up above that and seeing that, you know, oh, God, we are one, guys, you know? I mean, there is so much division in the world, and it has really um, impacted me on so many different ways over my life. Um, but recently, in the last couple of weeks, I have been really... I guess, you know, contemplating. I've had some confusion around all the different spiritual paths, all the different paths that we can walk and, you know, and trying to decide on some. Yes, yes, Diana, choose love over fear. That's it. That's it. And so just trying to, you know, but like even within the spiritual community and, you know, even if you're not a part of the spiritual community or whatever, there's so many paths to go down, right? And, you know, I'll listen to YouTube videos and, you know, I mean, and, and you guys know I, you know, I work with tarot and then I'm listening to people that are like, you know, tarot's evil and, you know, and, um, and it's not. And I really, I had to grapple with that um, because I consider myself a child of God, and I work for the light. That is, I know my path and my mission. And so when I hear other, you know, light workers, other, you know, um, people that are working for the betterment of their world say that I'm evil because, you know, I work with divination tools, it really, it made me sit and think, you know, um, I know and if some of you guys are familiar with Doreen Virtue, um, she has so many beautiful decks. And I know that there was a period in her life when she also was grappling with these, um, you know, these, these questions about what path is the right path, right? Now, she made the choice to put her tarot cards down and, um, and decided that, you know, that divination was you know, for whatever reason for her, it was not in alignment with her true calling. Um, and so, you know, someone who, like me, who wants to, and not wants to, just is, I am a child of light, right? And so I started thinking, I started getting kind of confused about it. Like, you know, God, just show me what I'm supposed to do because, you know, these, the tarot found me. Um, I started practicing tarot when I was in middle school and, um, it went away for a long time and then it came back and it's always been a wonderful comfort for me. Um, you know, I'm an English major. I love the symbolism of it. I love the young and, you know, philosophy behind it. Um, it works for me. And I know that there, I mean, really we are the, you know, we are the portal, we are the channel, we are the divination tool. And so like, I know that I don't need tarot or I don't need tea leaves or I don't need the I Ching or whatever, but for me, it's fun and it's a direct connection for me. And so I'm grappling with these ideas and I'm thinking, you know, how is the, how can someone think that this is evil? Um, and so, you know, I started, I had to pray, I had to pray, I had to talk to God, you know. I usually, a lot of my epiphanies come in the bathroom. So, <laughs> so I was actually taking a shower. Um, and, uh, you know, it just hit me. Like, this is all about division, right? This is, this is the same as saying that, you know, someone that follows... Um, you know, Buddhism is not in alignment with someone that follows Christianity or someone that is, you know, using, uh, you know, the, um, what is it? The Qingdao, you know, isn't in the same alignment as someone that's using, you know, yoga or whatever. Right. And it's all false. What came to me is that I am, I mean, literally an embodiment of togetherness, right? I I mean, my body represents, you know, different polarities coming together. And that is how I view, 
you know, tarot and the Bible. I brought, I brought my Bible tonight because this is, my friend daddy was an Episcopalian priest. And I know that this may be unpopular or uncomfortable or that some people may think that I'm evil because I'm holding a Bible and my tarot cards and my crystals. <laughs> All at the same time, um, yeah. Everyone has their own way of connecting. Yes, and that and 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 Diana, and that is a hundred percent how I feel. That you know, for me, my mom just recently gave me um, my friend Daddy's Bible, and I mean, he passed when I was three. And let me tell you, since last spring, I have had. I mean, the most intense relationship with this man that I knew for like three earth years, you know? Um, but my mom gave me his Bible on, um, on New Year's Day, actually. And it has been like, a, I connect, I connect to God through it. And I don't read it because I, you know, I wasn't raised, um, Catholic or Christian or anything. And so, I read the Bible the way that it makes sense to me, which is I pick it up and I love it. And I just say, God, just show me what you want me to see. Not what I think I want to see, but what you want me to see. And then I just open the book and, you know, whatever passage pops up is the passage that I read. Every time I've done that, the message has been right on the same way that the message is always right on with my tarot cards. And so I'm asking myself, how can these be, you know, two separate paths that cannot come together, right? They are coming together. And look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. That's, that was what was on the bottom. Yes, all of these are tools to connect to the divine. You're absolutely right. And so how I feel is that, you know, there is not a wrong or a right way to connect, right? Um, whatever works for you. And I mean, you know, like, it doesn't matter, you know? I mean, I, I told my daughter once, I was like, look, if someone wants to sit in the grass and pick the grass and just sit there for 20 years and if that's how they connect to God, to source, then, I mean, who the hell am I to say what is right or, you know, what is wrong, right? I mean, I'm a perfectly flawed human in this vessel, just like everyone else, right? And so, you know, I came to the conclusion that I, I mean, I know I'm not evil for using tarot. And it is a connection that I've had since I was very little, you know. Um, and I also know that I'm not evil because I connect with my friend daddy through his Bible, right? And so it's what works. It what it's what resonates. It's what uh, allows you to connect. And I have found my tools, you know, and I hope that you guys find yours too. Um, you know, and this conversation, I've got a I just, I made some hibiscus tea. I'm actually sitting outside, guys. Um, all of these items are tools, yes, to connect. It's all about the energy. Yes, Jackie, you're absolutely right. It is about the energy. And so if the energy resonates with you, then use it. If it doesn't, then try something else. You know, I was using tarot like a couple years ago, and I had... Um, you know, a friend say, oh, well, I don't like tarot. I really like the I Ching. And I was like, cool. Well, that's what resonates with you. It doesn't mean that tarot is any less. It doesn't, you know, none of it. So it's just, you know, but this is, it is incredible to me how <sighs> deciding on what resonates and what not can set you apart from the rest of humanity. You know, it's like, Really? I mean, you know, just one real, like a real basic way. I mean, if God created everything, then he created, or he, she, it, us, we, <laughs> created tarot cards too. So, you know, it's all a part of just the divine, beautiful. Mm. 
Oh, this is some good hibiscus tea. Mmm, I love it. It's all a part of the divine, beautiful plan. And so, you know, when I was taking that shower and I was, you know, feeling confusion about it, then, I, you know, it occurred to me that as someone that literally embodies the middle path, if you will, right, that what my job is to do is to bring all of these modalities together, all of the different paths together for all of us to rise above and to see that all of these paths are leading us to the same place. We are one. We are now. We're here. And it's all good, you know, and, and it's not like all like, I mean, a couple years ago, I was all like, oh, love and light, love and light, you know, I mean, it's all love and it's all love and light, but man, you know, we got to walk through some shit too. And that's part of it because we're here in this 3D, you know, world of duality and that's just part of it, guys, you know, um, but as we rise above, we begin to see that, you know, really all of that's just an illusion, right? There is no right, wrong, up, down, black, white, you know, Republican, Democrat, like however you want to divide yourselves. All of that is just an illusion anyways, you know, and it really just... <sighs> It is the Babylon, right? The Luciferian agenda is all about keeping us in confusion, right? And so all of that shit is just to keep us confused and away from the truth, which is we're all one. All paths lead home, you know? So pick up your Bible, pick up your cross, pick up your tarot cards, pick up your crystals, you know? I mean, all of it, it's all a way home. Oh. And so, you know, within the spiritual community, I've been seeing all kinds of division and it just saddens me because, you know, again, we're all one. And I mean, isn't this all about us rising above the illusion and seeing that, you know, just because one person does something one way and that it doesn't, maybe even if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that that person is wrong or bad or less than or doesn't deserve to have the same type of platform that you do, right? Um, differences are why we're here experiencing this material world, right? I mean, if God wanted us to be all the same, we'd all fucking look the same, right? We don't for a reason, right? Some of the spiritual groups I have the most taught. Yes, yes. There's so much toxicity and it's people getting like so into like their way is the right way and my, you know what I mean? And I mean, fuck all that shit, man. All our ways are right ways, all of them. All of them. My truth is my truth. And it is true. Your truth is your truth. And is true. And equally valid. Right? And so just because I don't agree with someone or someone's, you know, choices, I will never, ever, ever, ever look at them as less than. Because I believe that everything everything in this world. And I say thing, I'm talking humans, trees, rocks, rivers, the dust mites, you know, we are all one. We are all one. We are all one. And there is no less than or greater than. We have been you know, basically conditioned to believe and to think in a hierarchical structure. But that is that is a system that has been imposed on us, right? It is not our natural state, right? We are communal pack animals at our real basic. And we are here to enjoy the diversity, you know, enjoy the difference. I mean, man, if you're not into it, that's cool. You know, like, I mean, the way I look at it, I mean, there's like, what, like 9 billion people in the world, you know, like, no, I am not going to agree with everyone, but it doesn't mean that I don't love 
everyone, right? Because God is love, period. And there, again, there is no hierarchy. We have created that. The president of the United States is on the exact same level, level as, you know, a janitor who is now sweeping up, you know, a, a school, right? We're the same. We're the same. The, the sounds of the barking dogs, the, the, the cars going by. You know, I'm looking at my backyard and I'm so thankful. Every blade of grass. We're the same. We're the same. And God makes us all different. So we get to experience so many different possibilities, you know? So, I mean, and the possibilities are infinite. I am... I guess, you know, going on a little bit of a rant about this because it's just everywhere. Division, 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 division. And the thing is, is that, you know, my whole goal, I mean, I don't even say it a goal. It's just who I am is to bring people together and community, you know, check out my website. I mean, that's what I've been doing for over, you know, 30 years is bringing people together and community, you know, to love despite our differences, despite our ages, despite our skin color. I mean, really, people? I'm like, that is the most surface reason not to fucking like someone, you know? I'm like, how psychotic is it? Like, when we start thinking about how petty, you know? I mean, if you believe one way and I believe something else, it's okay. It's okay right? I mean, the division is petty and it's false. It's a false narrative because ultimately we are all beautiful spiritual beings. And these, these bodies, the shell, the conditioning, the system, all that stuff is just like distractions, you know? And I mean, there's so much beauty in the material world. I mean, I definitely, I love the material. I'm so thankful that I'm here on this body and I get to explore. I mean, and my God, I have fucking walked through some hell. And I want to tell you guys that, you know, people that are, you know, say that they're spiritual or like whatever, like, you know, I, I am a healer, not because I think I'm any better or that I've even gotten it all, but because I have walked through this fucking shit for years. And guess what? I don't give up. And I love, I love, I love. That's it. You know, I mean, I have been used. I have been abused. I have made some fucked up choices in my life. I love, I love, I love. That is it. That is it. You know, so I don't come on to these lives to try to act like I'm anything but a perfectly flawed human. I love, I love, I love, you know, that's it. That's what makes me feel good in my heart. You know, I've had people call me a Pollyanna. I've had people, you know, I mean, haters are going to hate. People are just going to fucking talk shit. And, and it just doesn't matter anymore because I am rising above. I have risen above. And I see, I see the beauty in all of it. All of it, even what we want to call our shadows and our darkness. You know, for me... How I had to learn for this fucking flawed ass vessel, I had to be able to walk through hell and still find time to smell the roses and still look up at the heavens and say, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for these fucked up choices and all these fucked up men I've, you know, fucking dated and all the shit that I've put in my body. Thank you for the experience. And I'm here and I'm doing it. And I love it. And I love. And so, you know, for those of you out there that feel that people have to be a certain way or think a certain thing or, you know, act in an appropriate way during certain times or blah, blah, blah. All of that is just division. It's to keep us confused. It's to keep us apart from each other. You know, I love. I love. I love, call me a Pollyanna, I love, 
I love my enemies. I love you. I don't even know if I have any enemies, but I'm sure that some people don't like me. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I can be a total bitch sometimes. And I say what I want to say when I want to say it. And I know that a lot of men in the world have called me a smart ass because, you know, I speak. And I've, I have been, I've had people react to that a lot, you know, but whatever, you know. No more dimming the light. No more dimming the light. I am who I am. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful for love because it feels better. It feels better, right? I mean, I don't understand why people just want to be in like some kind of, you know, fucked up, like mental torment. It just feels better to love. So, you know, I am rising above the division and the spiritual community. I will use my tarot cards and I will also read my Bible the way that I see fit. And so tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards. I always do three for these readings. And um, the way that I do it, and it may be different from what you do, which is fine, um, is that the first card is kind of the energy that we're coming out of. The second card is where we are in this present moment. The third card is, you know, will take us into the next couple of weeks or so. I will say that, oh, they just came on out. Look at this. I love it when this happens. That if, that my readings, and actually, wow, okay, two more came out, five. So I guess we're going to do, see what, see what happens here. And with my readings for this, it is um, a collective reading. So basically, this is the energy that is coming in collectively, okay? Um... If you want a one-on-one, -on -one, I don't really do one-on-one -on -one tarot readings. I do what are called spiritual activation sessions where I use tarot as one of the modalities. But um, you guys can, you know, check out my offerings and stuff on the website. But today we have some wonderful cards. I'm excited because, and they keep on, I mean, my God, I just love my God. It's just so wonderful. Okay, so this is the energy that we're kind of coming out of. Um, we have the king of pentacles. And so this is all about confidence. This is about you being able to attract and to manage your affairs, right? This is you learning how to translate your vision into something that is tangible. This is manifestation, right? And so, you know, it's interesting because we're in January and I mean, this is, this is hibernation period for me, right? And so, you know, if we're thinking about manifesting, bringing out into the world, right? What better time to focus on that than in these hibernation months, right? Um, you know, from December 21st until, when is it, March 21st. I mean, that's the winter period for me. I'm very excited to be in Georgia because I can sit out on my back porch with like a t-shirt and a, you know, a cardigan, which is super cool. Um, but, uh, you know, this is our manifestation. So like, Whatever you're thinking about, like your business, your home, like your whatever it is that you're wanting to create, you are on the right path, okay? It's, it's happening. It starts in the subconscious, right? I mean, that is, you know, I like to think of that as like the divine feminine. So it's all happening right now while we're in hibernation. And, uh, and this, you know, just the, the, Night. Oh God! Did I just ring? I just read the king. I am so. so that, that's why one of my hashtags is perfectly flawed. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyways, it's close. The night is like on the way too. So you are hard working, right? You're sticking to your routines, right? And you know, about work, it's um it's what makes me happy, right? I mean, I've gotten to a place in my life where I'm just like fuck the dumb shit. Look, I will fucking live in my car if I have to because I'm going to do what makes me happy. You know, um and doing these lives each week make me really, really happy. So, okay, even if I fuck up. <laughs> so the night here, you put one foot in front of the other and get the work done. You are a natural planner and implementer. I love it. Okay, so this is the energy that we're coming into. And I know that... Um, 
for a lot, you know, a lot of people were on vacation. Now they're just kind of getting back into the routine. I know how it is for me. So that makes sense with that energy. Let's say I do this thing very similar in a child of God. But yes, I can't help I can't help what I see been that way for so long. Yes, I don't know everything that you're saying, Melissa, but you're right. Along with that you know that lady. Yes. And the yes, and you know the thing is is that we are all conditioned. I mean, my grandfather you know, he was an Episcopalian priest and I was baptized by him, you know? And so I start thinking to myself, oh my God, I don't want to, you know, like dishonor him by doing something that I feel is, you know, and so that's why I had to go through this whole process and realize that, you know, Fran Daddy wants me to use the Bible and the tarot cards because that's expansive. That's bringing together as one, right? Um, and so the, and, but it's a long path and there's so much conditioning to, you know, all these limiting beliefs that we've been fed since we were like in the womb, you know? I mean, we got to shed all that shit and it's fucking hard, man. You know, that's part of the spiritual journey that people don't talk about. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, it's our love and light. And it is, and it's beautiful, but my God, shedding the those limiting beliefs, you know, the conditioning that we have all been subject to our entire lives is fucking hard. And uh, especially the older you get, you know, I mean, I'm like almost 50 guys. And uh, let me tell you, man, it gets harder and harder the older you get. That's why, you know, I really, my content is all focused on Gen X. You know what I'm saying? Gen X. Because, I mean, honestly, I feel like as a, um, a generation that, I mean, we're the smallest generation and we saw a lot of fun shit and there were some fuck shit people in the goddamn government during that time and I don't even I mean I don't even know I might get bare I don't even I don't even care it doesn't matter I feel like there is an agenda there was an agenda and uh, that it fucked with our generation and so I believe that Gen X spirituality I mean I believe that we're the ones that are supposed to be bringing the dark and the light together right I mean because they just shed so much fucking darkness on us in the 80s and 90s so much right and so all of us are grappling like getting it, like what is light what is dark oh my god you know I, I used to love this music but I mean I literally you know fucking hallucinated being in hell when I was like seeing ministry, you know what I mean? But then maybe I was supposed to see that. I don't know. All that to say is that, you know, for each generation, I think, I mean, it just gets harder and harder to shed all that programming. And uh, I'm right there with you guys. I mean, you know, like higher self, Elizabeth. Yes, I'm love and light. I, I can be neutral or above. I can use my bird eye, you know, but I get triggered back into some low base, you know, feelings and I, you know, and it's, it's hard or like ideas or, um, you know, like how, like how we were taught. I mean, shit, being a, a, a woman living in the South, you know, I mean, just all of those conditionings and expectations. It's a hard journey to shed all that. Um, you know, but I'll tell you, it's fucking worth it. You know, it's worth it. Um, what we gain in the process. It's like we walk away from what no longer serves, but oh my God, the beauty of what does come up. Ah, and this is where we're at right now. Look at that. The sun is shining. You are all, all of us guys, we are surrounded by warmth, by radiance and vitality, right? And so again, you know, as we're kind of beginning to get back out there and, um, you know, during this uh, during these, you know, winter months, we're kind of putting in what we need to, you know, we're planting our seeds and everything. This sun, this is showing us whatever your endeavor is, do not give up. Radiate your light and shine it to the world, okay? Whatever ideas you have, do it. Do it. Now is the time. Stop thinking, oh, what if X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. Don't even worry about that shit, okay? Right now, we are standing in our light. Guys, just think about all the possibility and the growth, right? This is the sun, and it's so beautiful. And, okay, so this is where we are presently. This is 
what we have to look forward to. The Emperor. I, you know what, guys? I just can't make this shit up. I mean, <laughs> it is perfect. You are establishing structures and foundations from which your success will grow. You favor stability and certainty over flexibility and change. You have the discipline, okay? And so this is beautiful. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is riding in, right? You know, we're planting our seeds. We are radiating our beautiful ideas to the world no matter what. Do not dim your motherfucking light. <laughs> And guess what? It is all beautiful. It is all beautiful. Look at this. We are the emperors, right? We are the gods and goddesses. We are the empress and the emperor. We can do anything we want. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much guys for being here tonight oh i'm gonna actually i was going to use one of my um oracle cards uh but i think i'm gonna end with and melissa if you're still watching i would love because i i know i i know that you're bible too as well or anyone else that is i am going to oh and i also thought this was really cool the bookmark that was in it is a hummingbird look at that and hummingbirds are my daughter's spirit guide. So how cool is that? Um, so I just love this Bible. I mean, I've been using it every day and I've learned so many wonderful lessons. So I'm going to leave you guys uh, with a passage. And thank you. Thank you, Fran Daddy, for allowing me to use this tool to connect to you, to connect to source. Show me what we need to see, not what we want to see. Show me what we need to see, not what we want to see. Okay. So the message, let me see. This is, it's Timothy. Oh, Timothy 2. And Timothy 3. So, because I'm not like, you know, I haven't read the whole Bible and I don't know that much. Oh, wait, no. Timothy, Timothy 1.6. Okay. So, this is Timothy, Timothy 2. So, I don't know the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Um, it's so true. Judgment is a clear sign that somebody is not working within the light. Yes. Yes, Jackie. And so, and thank you for saying that because, you know, and a lot of times I end up like judging myself, like, oh my God, like I really kind of got into my head about doing a tarot reading and, you know, using the Bible. But guess what? I mean, that's my mission is to bring all of these paths together because they're, they're all beautiful and they're all valid and they're all important, right? And they all contain beautiful wisdom. Um, okay, so... The second letter of Paul to Timothy. That is where I opened up. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, because I'm not going to, you know, look it all up now. I mean, if anyone knows anything about the second letter of Paul to Timothy, I would love to hear what you think, what your interpretation of it is. Um, otherwise, I will look it up and, you know, just put it in the comments or something. Um, yeah, so I do, you know, I'm going to be continuing doing these lives um, every Tuesday. If you want to support my content, please check out my Patreon page, wherever it is on here. Um, and, you know, if you're interested in any one-on-one -on -one sessions, then check out my website. You can see what I'm about. I'm always down with collaboration, anything to do with writing, with the arts, with, you know, just anything that just makes my heart sing. I'm down. Um, I'm a champion. I'm kind of like Flavor Flav. I'm like, woo, woo, woo. It's all good. Yay! Um, anyways, guys, so I love you so much. Thank you for joining today, and um, I'll see you next week. Bye.